will go for the boolean algebra uh, it is a one kind of algebra we know the mathematical algebra we did uh, in mathematical algebra but somewhat it is different actually in digital uh, electronics the boolean algebra is a uh, take a vital role because this algebra is completely done with the logical operation the concept is to satisfy the logic if we satisfy the logic by any algebraic form then we can easily build our circuit because every circuit is running with a logic okay you need some uh, we need some outcome by using some logic and if we solve this logic by any uh, maintaining any rules or any formulas and then it will come under the algebra and this algebra will call boolean algebra okay uh, you people have the idea of gate how the gate work Uh, like uh, AND gate, OR gate, uh, have you heard this name? Siddharth Sinivas, uh, just write on chat. We need the two gate mainly. The concept of two gate we need. Okay. What are those? One is a AND gate and another is a OR gate. Okay. Now see the symbol of AND gate. I just draw here. It is a symbol of AND gate, uh, two input AND gate. That means there is a two input, one is X, another is Y, and output may be Z. Okay. Now, how this gate is work? Okay. I already told that digital circuitry is running on two basic logic. One is zero, another is one. Zero means off, one means on. Okay. So the input can be one of them, well, maybe 0 or 1. In that case, if, if we write the truth table of AND gate, we can find like that. If both the input are 0, x 0, y 0, then we can get z is equal to 0. x 0, y 1, again we get output 0. x 1, y 0 then again we get the output 0 uh, if both case are 1 then 1 see it is a logical operation but in case of algebra it is look like a multiplication see 0 into 0 answer will be 0 0 into 1 answer will be 0 1 into 0 answer will be 0 1 into 1 answer will be 1 see then any multiplication for doing any multiplication we can do uh, replace by the AND gate because AND gate is doing multiplication in other sense because its logic circuitry is work like a multiplication is it clear both of you Sinivas is it clear to you? Okay. Now see the OR gate. The symbol is like that. Same thing. It is the X. It is Y. And output is z now the truth table will be like that x y z if x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 then z will be 0 x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 z will be 1 x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 z will be 1 x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, z will be 1. See, this is a logic operation of a OR gate, but this logical operation work like an addition. See, if we add those, then we will uh, we'll get the answer which we get in output z. So, 
in any algebra where we find any addition we have to do then we can replace this by or get am i right C can you understand okay now another gate we have to know that is called inverter okay inverter is look like a we will go through this gate in later on just to, you, you take a concept inverter it can invert the input if we give here x we get output x bar that means if we gave uh, get uh, give zero here we will get one or if we get one uh, give one then we will get zero just invert the answer so these three get and get or get and inverter and you may say not get okay by using these three get we can do any algebra we can solve any equation algebraic e equation by using the boolean algebra okay now read this use of a binary digit boolean equation can have either of two possibility value 0 and 1 i already told the whole digital system run under this condition 0 and 1 because in a uh, it it run in a binary system and we already know that binary have base 2 that means only two digit can create this number system one is 0 another is 1 so any input there is a possibility of maybe 0 or maybe 1 now logical uh, addition symbol plus we have given but also known as or operator because we already already see here the or gate can do the addition okay that is why written here the symbol plus comma also known as or operator used for logical addition okay and follows law of binary addition okay now logical multiplication symbol dot is given see not cross dot okay and also no, known as and operator used for logical multiplication complementation where complementation symbol is bar we already sh shown here bar okay and known as not operator used for complementation and follows the law of binary complement okay now go to the next page each operator has a pre uh, precedence level higher the operator precedence level earlier it evaluated that means uh, like in c class i already told that that everything have a hierarchy okay or in our mathematics we see there is a hierarchy what type of hierarchy if any equation there is a multiplication there is a division and there is a uh, addition or subtraction the work of multiplication do first it has uh, the highest hierarchy then division then addition and last subtraction so those are a hierarchy same thing like that each operator has a precedence level higher the operator precedence level earlier it is evaluated expression is scanned from left to right every time we have to do the work from left to right not right to left first expression enclosed within the parenthesis are evaluated then all complement uh, operator are performed then all and operator and finally or see here the highest priority is not if we find any not operator in our algebra we have to do work with this first then we have to find any and operator is there or not if we find any and operator then we have to do work on that and lastly we have to find the or operator so the hierarchy is first is not second is and and third is or is it clear okay 
see the operator here uh, some uh, just to take a example of a algebra if is algebra is given like that x plus y bar dot z then wh what will be the priority level first we, we do the y bar because the bar is there we already told that where we find the bar we do it first then after working with this y bar then come to the this box where y dot z is there now this dot means the and operator so it has the second priority then we have to do that and finally we have to do this box where we find the or operator mean plus and it has a priority third is it clear any confusion okay good now see there is some postulate postulate means you can say some formulas also okay in uh, our arithmetic algebra we, we lots of al uh, formula we have to remember okay now here uh, we have to remember something about that uh, to do or to solve the mathematics easily okay now see postulate one is a is equal to zero if and only if a is not equal to one a simple if a is equal to zero then uh, a is equal to never uh, never uh, put a value of one a is equal to one then a is equal to not is equal to zero it is a simple a simple postulate now postulate two x plus zero is equal to x can you understand why this statement is come x plus zero is equal to x no are you understand Sinivas and Siddharth from where this formula is come is it right see here see this two table uh, if y is equal to 0 if y is equal to 0 then x is if x is equal to 0 then output will be 0 am I right if the value of x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 same then the value of z is equal to what 1 so that means the value of x is decided if y is equal to 0 is it clear so it is justified that x is equal to 0 is x in any OR gate if one input is 0 then whatever the other output is that will be the answer if here is 1 then output will be 1 because 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 if the other in input is 0 then output will be 0 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 so the rest of thing depend on the this input and if this is the x input then the answer will be x whatever the value of x that will be the answer clear okay now same thing on that wait this one this is the dot dot means in which gate we have to involve to perform the dot operation Sinivas and good right now I draw the AND gate ok now if the one input of a AND gate 1 and other input is 0 then what will be the answer Sinivas
0 good and if the other input is 1 then 1 good so see if the one input is 1 then whatever the other input is that will be your result that is why it is also satisfied x dot 1 is equal to x clear okay now postulate uh, this law is called commutative law okay now see like a uh, simple algebra x plus y we can write y plus x same thing and x dot y we can write y dot x same thing uh, like in algebra a plus b is equal to b plus a a dot b is equal to b dot a a dot b is equal to b dot a. same thing okay now slowly slowly see the associative law x plus y plus z is equal to x plus y plus z same thing we can write like that also x dot y dot z we can write like that also okay now from here we have to remember those for easier operation and if we go for the solving this uh, logic to establish this formula then our mathematics will be larger so better we go for that and remember something and it will be easier for you if you download this uh, boolean algebra postulate from net and just paste it to wall where you sit for read and every day you just uh, see these formulas then it will be fitted in your brain and for calculation for when you, when you go for solving the equation it will be very helpful okay in my room I also use this technique because it is not easy to remember the formula like that okay now see this postulate x dot y plus z we can write x dot y plus x dot z we can prove later on okay all postulate have been proved and again x plus y dot z we can write x plus y x plus z the basic funda is whatever in first we have to multiply by uh, c uh, like a simple algebra if we multiply x into y plus z the result will be x y and x z so it is easy but in case of that x plus y dot z it is not like that but we can prove prove it but you have to remember when we find this type of equation in your boolean algebra you you always remember that the first one we have to plus x plus y and again x plus z like that the x will be the common for both okay and in between we have to put the dot sign okay this is a postulate we will prove this later on now the postulate 6 find x plus x bar is equal to 1 is it satisfied see plus means what what operator we have to use or ok then draw we uh, draw a or gate now suppose x the value of x is 0 then uh, what will be the value of x bar one then what will be the output of this one and if the a value of x is one then what will be the value of x bar zero good and what will be the answer output of or gate both of case 1 so it is it is justified x plus x bar always return you 1 is it clear ok now see that x dot x bar always return you 0 why anything multiplied by 0 is 0 
if x is equal to 1 then x bar will be 0 and 0 multiply by anything is 0 so it will always return 0 so it is also justified clear Okay, now uh, we just come in the principle of duality. We have to remember something about the Boolean algebra, some concept. Here uh, we, we, we just see. Uh, see, those are the postulate. Is it very hard to remember? But using these, we can solve lots of difficult, lots of difficult uh, equation. Okay. Now see the principle of duality. There is a precise duality between the operators and and or, and the digit zero and one. See, uh, if we write this, uh, see that column first, uh, row first. 1 plus 1 will be what? 1. 1 plus 0 will be 0. 0 plus 1 will be 1. And 0 plus 0 will be 0. Now see the row 2. You just everything complement. The result will be same. In place of 1, if uh, complement of 1 is 0. And complement of 1 is 0. And complement of 1 is 0. See, just only change dot. Okay. Now again, see that it will satisfy. It. In case of one, we change zero. In place of zero, we one. In place of plus, we, we put dot, and answer is uh, one. And again, see the everything, the relation between the uh, row one and row two just complemented each other. See zero plus zero is zero. One dot one is one. So these two row 1 and row 2 are totally complemented each other and it is called principle of duality not a very important thing but a uh, but a thing which you can remember what is the principle of uh, duality there is a precise duality between the operator and and or and 0 and 1 for example in the table below the second row is obtained from the first row and vice versa simply by interchange or with a dot and zero with a one and it is called duality theorem is it clear sir ah, question tell. Ah, tell so duality means like is it opposite you are saying that the row no no two is not op than not row opposite ah. see by by watching hmm. this uh, if, if if any relation suppose 1 plus 0 is equal to what 1 am I right now yes oh yes okay now using the principle of duality what do you have to do we have to invert this number what is the invert of 1 0 1 0 0 and this 0 1 one and we put we, multiplication uh, we have to change or with and then we have to put dot here yeah okay then answer will be what zero. one zero see it is also the complement form everything complemented one is complemented here zero is complemented here and and answer also is complemented here if we change or to dot and it is satisfied it is the principle of duality by watching the but, uh, uh, tell tell so uh, i am bit not clear like okay. the, uh, in the top it is a one and in the bottom it is zero ha huh, 
by uh, by the, the result is uh, result will be not same everything will be complemented yeah everything will be okay. complemented like that 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 in that case if you get in 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 this case 1 then by using principle of duality you will get the answer 0 by how by complemented whole thing and okay. put a dot okay it is a simple one nothing used in your uh, any operation but it is a law okay. and when uh, okay. it will come you have to li uh, write like that and you will get four marks for that and lots of time it is come okay. the principle of duality okay, okay. yeah i got it see x plus x is equal to x we already see the law x dot x is x 1 dot 1 will be 1 and 0 dot 0 will be 0 that means it is satisfied that x dot x will be x ok now it is already shown it is already shown now come here you have to remember that x plus x dot y is equal to x now if you ask me the why it is come i can show you in a simple way like that x plus x y if we get common x from both okay it will be 1 plus y okay now in 1 plus y what will be the output it is a or operation am i right now 1 plus y the output will be what cinebus one uh, then means 1 plus y just imagine a or gate the one input is one another input is y what will be the output cinebus because plus is here that means it is or operation now it is tail one input is one and another is y then what will be the answer cinebus tail see that is already one yes because in or gate if any terminal gate 1 the answer will be 1 and other y is 0 or y is 1 does not matter so we can write it x dot 1 now it is and operation now draw in and gate if one terminal is 1 and other terminal is x then what will be the output Why is it that 0? If the value of x is equal to 1, then so the whatever the value of x that will be your answer. So your answer will be x. So it is, is equal to x. here is it proved in that way we have to prove everything and it is another law x dot x plus y is equal to x x double bar is equal to x now how it is okay suppose x the value of x is equal to 0 ok now what will be the value of 0 bar uh, yeah 2 time inverse means cancel but how it is come just see ok what will be the value of 0 bar 1 am I right 
can you how we got that uh, bar means in bar means it is uh, not not right? not get okay. yeah not get not get and then so output will be will opposite be? of zero yeah then it's output opposite will be of zero right okay. yeah 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 one one okay and now again we have to do the bar because double bar is there then output will be zero so the first we take the value of x is equal to zero so then x double bar is equal to what x simply x clear okay okay now uh, in this way you have to remember you have to do those just i uh, now i tell what is a de morgan's theorem it is it is completely wrong okay it is wrong typed by me okay I just write you De Morgan's theorem. Okay, you have to is x dot y bar. We can write it x bar plus y bar plus. Okay. Now it is a one law of De Morgan's theorem, and another law he uh, he has given that if anything x plus y bar, then the answer will be x bar into y bar. He gives these two law. If you find anything x dot y bar, then we can write it x bar. Plus y bar, and if we if if this is come x plus y bar, then we can write x bar and y bar. Yeah, De Morgan's theorem. Okay, this is uh, these two law are given by the Mr. De Morgan, and now we go to uh, solve this. Okay, how it is come? We can go. We go for proof. Okay, now we. I make a table. I write x. Here I write y. Here I write x bar. Here I write y bar. Here I write x y. Here I write x y bar. Here I write x bar. Into y bar. Here I write x plus y. Here I write x plus y bar. Okay. Now see. Uh, suppose uh, first we take the value x is equal to zero. Y is equal to zero. Then what will be the value of x bar? Answer first. The value of x is equal to zero. Then what will be the value of x bar? Universe. X bar means 
inverter I, I already mentioned yeah opposite one and then same thing like that if the value of y is equal to 0 then y bar is equal to 1 ok now what is the value of x y tell me both of you good then what will be the value of x y bar 1 ok Sinibas what will be the value of x y bar 1 yeah good now tell me what is the value of x bar dot y bar see x bar is equal to 1 y bar is equal to 1 1 into 1 will be 1 what is the value of x plus y good and then what will be the value of x plus y bar 1 good ok now we take 0 1 now it is 1 it is 0 what will be the x y ok x y bar ok x bar y bar ok x plus y ok x plus y bar ok now take 1 0 then it will be 0 it will be 1 what is the value of x y ok what is the value of x y bar good x bar y bar good x plus y good and x bar y bar x plus y bar 0 Sinibas what x plus y bar y x plus y is equal to 1 then x plus y bar will be what yes good now both are 1 1 these 4 variable uh, variety can be uh, remain in 2 digit number 0 0 0 sir. 1 1 0 ah, tell sir uh, the question mm, tell. regarding the x y bar mm. first we have to multiply x y and then uh, reverse it or uh, ah, no here x plus y Okay, what are the x? Ah, first we no, no, in the, I'm talking of the x, x y bar. Okay. Ha, first we do the multiplication the, x dot y, one. and so whatever the value is come, then uh, reverse then it. Then revert it. Yes. Oh. Okay, is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Those are 0, 0. Now tell me what is the value of x y? one good value of x y bar good value of x bar y bar uh, cinemas y it is one Why it is one, Sinibas? Explain. Uh, the x bar, the x bar is one. Oh, okay, so x bar is uh, zero, so one, one multiplied by one, one. Sorry. One multiplied by like one, not. See here, it is a x bar. X bar. 
ओके एक्स बार इज इक्वल टू बार इज जीरो वाई बार इज आल्सो जीरो ओके देन व्हाट विल बी द मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ एक्स बार एंड वाई बार इट इज एक्स बार वाई बार नॉट द एक्स बार वाई बार अगेन बार इट इज ओनली एक्स बार वाई बार यू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स बार जीरो बाय जीरो जीरो इनटू जीरो तो ओके जीरो जीरो या वाई इज वन ओके नो सॉरी नाउ टेल मी सिनिवास एक्स प्लस वाई व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स प्लस वाई टू नॉट टू यार ओनली वन जीरो एंड वन बाइनरी डिजिट देयर इज टू वैल्यू जीरो एंड वन इफ द वैल्यू नो एक्स प्लस आ सॉरी आ ओके नो One. A X one. Okay. So it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, so, what is the value of x plus y bar? X plus y. Okay. Okay. Uh, See the value of x plus y first. Here, x plus uh, y value one. Now we have to complement it. Then, what is the complement of one? Zero. Zero, na? Okay. Then we have to write zero here. Okay. Now see. Yes. Yes, that is zero. Zero, na? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. We just miss one thing. X bar plus y bar. Sorry. we have to add this also x bar plus y bar okay what will be the value of x bar plus y bar for this the value of x bar is 1 y bar is 1 then it is it will be cinemas 1 good now for this case X bar one, Y bar zero. Value is one. Good. Now for this case, X bar zero, Y bar one. Good. And for this case, it will be zero because both are zero. Okay. Now see this portion. X bar plus Y bar. and this portion is it the same same value are there or not is it same or not this column here one here one here one here one Here one, here one, here zero, here zero. Is it same, na? For all the combination of very uh, uh, values, this is same. So we can write it. It is, it is justified. It is justified. Now look at this condition. X y x dot y bar. Is equal to uh, sorry sorry x dot y bar uh, sorry uh, we just solve it okay now see x plus y bar where x plus y bar here is equal to x bar dot y bar here see those are same same na one one zero 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 so Can you prove that? Then, is it proved? Both of the equation uh, uh, given by the De Morgan is it proved? 